take a very comfortable position. Don't close your eyes just yet. You can let your eyes rest. They can rest on a single spot. Your eyes can grow more tired and it's getting harder and harder to keep them open. But they still stay open, getting more and more tired. And when it's getting impossible to keep them open, they can close and your eyes can be so heavy and so relaxed. All the eye muscles so pleasantly heavy and relaxed that even if you tried you could no longer open your eyes and the relaxation can spread to your whole face, your forehead, your nose, your cheeks, your jaw can be very relaxed and your scalp and your entire head can relax and let go of all tension and especially your neck relaxes and releases all tension and your shoulders relax and release. The relaxation spreads to your upper back and down your lower back and the relaxation can spread to your arms, from your upper arms all the way to your fingers. The relaxation still deepening spreads to your chest and belly. It spreads so that your whole upper body is relaxed and releases all tension. The relaxation spreads further to your hips and buttocks. Your upper legs relax, your lower legs and your feet relax and let go of all tension so that your whole body is relaxed and the relaxation can spread to your mind and as your mind relaxes your body relaxes more and as your body relaxes even deeper so your mind can also go deeper into hypnosis and relaxation. If there are any noises in your surroundings, they can just direct your attention to my words and to your relaxation. Or if there are any thoughts at the back of your mind, 
take and also just make you more focused on my words and your pleasant state. You can imagine standing on a ladder. You're going to climb down the ladder and as you climb down you're going deeper into hypnosis. You can place yourself on the ladder so that your hands and feet are both on the steps and you can start climbing down step by step going down going deeper your feet and hands are just taking you it feels automatic you're not really doing anything your feet and hands are just moving down taking you down the ladder and deeper into hypnosis you really feel the ground pulling you in you're really going much deeper it's harder to focus on the ladder your conscious mind doesn't really focus on it anymore your hands and feet are taking you down and you're getting so deep into hypnosis it's hard to even climb the ladder you're not sure if you know how to stop you're so deep already the ground is pulling you in and you start to slip and you fall so much deeper to manage to catch the ladder again you continue climbing down going even deeper you're not sure if it's ever going to end to really feel the gravity pulling you down your feet and hands just taking you down it's completely outside of your control just climbing down and the pull of gravity gets so strong again that your hands can no longer hold onto the steps and you start falling and as you fall you go deeper you feel yourself falling but it doesn't bother you you just enjoy going so much deeper so much faster and eventually you softly reach the ground so next we are going to have your mind conjure some emotions these may be some strong emotions or states but when I say gone each emotion or state is gone from your mind 
And when you come back from hypnosis, when you come back from hypnosis, you will have access to every state just like before or perhaps it will be easier for you to access them at will. First, your mind is going to feel your invincible, your incredibly powerful. Nothing can stop you. You're invincible. This feeling can grow and deepen. The feeling of being powerful and invincible. You're really enjoying it, aren't you? Being a real ass kicker. You can really let it grow and get more intense. But now that feeling is gone from your mind. Next. You're going to feel nervous and vulnerable and quite sensitive. It's not necessarily an unpleasant feeling, but just knowing you're sensitive. A lot of things affect you. And it makes you feel a bit nervous, being so tender and vulnerable. And this feeling can also grow and become more intense. The sense of being vulnerable and sensitive to the point it makes you feel nervous. It makes, <clears throat> it makes you feel bare. But just like that, that state is gone. So now we're going to combine two different states. Your mind knows how to make you feel powerful and invincible. But it also knows how you can feel tender and vulnerable and bare and nervous. Your mind can now combine these two different states. You're feeling them simultaneously. Feeling invincible and powerful, yet also vulnerable and tender and nervous about it. Really powerful but so nervous and tender and sensitive. This feeling can also grow stronger as strong as it can possibly be. But then it's just gone. Next, you're going to experience 
relaxation. You're feeling very relaxed. Your mind can let go of all tension. You can go into the deepest state of relaxation. Just totally relaxed. Both your mind and body. Letting go of all tension. Letting go into perfect relaxation and letting it grow even more intense. And then it's gone. Next, you're going to feel very tense. Your mind is just full of tension. Everything feels grating. You're just nervous and tense and very stressed. Everything is stressful. Strong nervous tension so tense, just full of stress, the most stress and tension you can imagine and letting it grow even stronger. And now it's gone. Next you're going to combine these two very different states. The pleasant relaxation of mind and body while also feeling very stressed and tense. Your mind lets you feel both at the same time feeling so relaxed yet also tense and full of stress. And this combination can grow even stronger so you have the most intense relaxation yet also the most intense stress and nervous tension. And now it's gone. Next you can feel ecstatic, really overjoyed. An amazing feeling, just pure ecstasy, delight and joy, as strong as it can be. And feeling it as intensely as is possible. pure ecstasy, an amazing feeling of joy and delight, still growing stronger, permeating every corner of your mind It's so enjoyable, isn't it? And now it's gone. 
Next, your mind is going to sink into confusion. Everything is unclear. Nothing really makes sense. You're just out of it. You feel blank. Just very confused. Nothing seems to fit together. And the more time you spend in this confusion, the more intense it grows. Your mind just draws a blank on everything. Everything is confusing and just getting even more so. And now it's all gone. So your mind can experience intense ecstasy, but also very strong confusion. And it's possible to experience them both at the same time. Your mind can do it now. Ecstasy and delight, yet simultaneously total confusion, drawing a blank. As you really get into that state, it grows stronger, more intense, more ecstasy and more confusion. Both are felt as strongly as is possible and even a bit stronger. And now that's gone. Now you're going to feel very sad. There's just a deep sorrow within you. It's a tender sadness. Not necessarily unpleasant. It's a deep aching sadness. And the more you feel that sadness, the more it grows. You feel very sad. A deep, intense sadness. But now it's gone. And it can be replaced by laughter and happiness. Everything feels funny. It feels like the funniest thing ever. Everything is funny and enjoyable. And the more you think about it, the funnier it gets. An intense sense of fun and joy and you can't help but laugh. <laughs> it's impossible not to laugh. Everything is just so funny. Everything is hilarious. Incredible. Just so intense. And it's gone. Now, you're not really feeling much emotion at all. 
you feel very indifferent or you might even say you feel equanimity nothing bothers you nothing disturbs you everything is okay you're at ease you're at peace you don't really care and your indifference just gets stronger and more intense you're unshakable you don't really care and you don't care that you don't care just indifference or maybe equanimity you know nothing bothers you and now that's also gone so you experienced sadness and sorrow but also joy and laughter and also indifference and equanimity three very different emotions and as weird as it may seem your mind is very clever and can let you feel all three simultaneously sadness happy laughter and indifference sorrow joy and equanimity all three felt at the same time with a growing intensity your mind is really making this the strongest emotional state ever intense sadness intense joy and laughter intense indifference all combined and now it's gone I hope you have enjoyed some interesting emotions when you come back from hypnosis your emotional life returns to normal you can feel any emotion mildly or strongly but perhaps something is subtly different after this and when you're ready you can start coming back from the hypnosis on your own time you can start floating up getting back to your normal state and you will remember everything clearly you will remember all the strange mental states and when you come back you will feel good and refreshed so you can float up and back from the hypnosis and when you're ready and fully back you can open your eyes thank you